Hey guys, what's up? This is Alex Castaneda and today I'm going to show you something very cool. How to do your very own digital painting using Photoshop and Corel Painter. And also, I'll be using my Wacom tablet for the process. It'll be very fun, so stay streaming. So first we need our drawing. This will be our guide when we start painting. Just try getting the right proportions. The rest doesn't really matter right now. So don't get caught up with all the micro details. Which I'm not doing right now. Try not to spend too much time on the drawing. This is really a guide and we'll get rid of it at the end. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So, our drawing is almost finished, but before I color it, I want to give a little basic tip for those who don't know much about layers. First, you open up or make a linear drawing, then you create a new layer, and on the layer options, you click multiply. This will make the layer work as a piece of glass, so you can draw anything without affecting the previous one. Pretty handy trick for coloring lines. And with this piece of knowledge, we carry on. Remember, there is no knowledge that is not power. So rejoice! I scanned my little drawing there. And I'm now creating a new multiplying layer. To put on the base color. Just like traditional painting, never start with a blank canvas. Always start with a base color. Always, always, always. Because you'll end up filling up the white gaps at the end, it's very annoying. You need to build your way up from big, massive blocks of colors to small uh, and precise brush strokes for the details. A good trick for this is to squint your eyes a little bit and see the colors and the shadows and big, big blocks. So when you start off, use big brushes to cover uh, a lot of area. Um, you see I started off with the medium values here in the face and then I just linearly applied the darkest tone I could see in the areas of the eyes, the mouth and the eyebrows. I do that to remember myself uh, of the range of values in the actual piece and not just get cut up in one analog range. Try to be a little humble when you're painting something from nature. You know, because you'll never know. You'll never know what you'll learn from there. Some of you might wonder, 
hey, why don't you use a photograph instead? Well, you can do that, but if you have the chance to use a live model, there's really no reason why going back to the photograph. The answer you look for color and shape is in reality. There's no better teacher than reality itself. Truth is found in nature. A camera can render an image a certain way, but your individuality and your mistakes, I think, are much more valuable than a cold machine's mechanism. <laughs>